Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we have some more new product. First up from Silencer Co, we have the Maxim 50. This is a Traditions muzzle loader with a suppressor attached. Now since this is not a firearm in the eyes of the ATF and this permanently attached suppressor uh, is mounted to it, this is not controlled uh, by say a 4473 or the traditional uh, tax stamp that you might uh, have to go through to get a suppressor. So you can purchase this today off brownells.com. That's new from Silencer Co. Next up from Geisley, we have the Mark 13 rail. Uh, they've had a few rails on the market uh, before this, but this new version has M-Lock pretty much all the way around, and it has Picatinny up front where you need it, or you might want a really uh, sturdy mount. Uh, the nice thing about the Mark 13 and other Geisley rails, very robust mounting system. You have the barrel nut mounted in here. It's really long, so you have a very rigid mounting system, and you have two cross bolts, so that thing is not coming off the front. Uh, type 3 hard coat anodized black, uh, a few other nice things with this, you get a gas block included and it also comes with this nice barrel wrench. So not only can you install the Mark 13, but you can take off your existing GI barrel nut. Also from Geisley, we have the Airborne charging handle. A nice thing about this guy is it has two enlarged latches, so it's completely ambidextrous, but they're not crazy big, so they're not going to catch on your gear, your web gear, or anything else uh, while you're carrying uh, your AR-15. Uh, this also is Type 3, hard coat anodized, uh, really great, simple charging handle. Another nice feature right here, I don't know if you can see it, is this raised portion, so if you're shooting suppressed, you don't get any gas back in your eyeball. That's new from Geisley. Next up, from Ed Brown, we have their hardcore one-piece mainspring housings and magwells. These are entirely machined from one piece of steel. Uh, this one right here is, of course, stainless, and it has their classic snakeskin snake skin pattern. It's nice and aggressive, but not too much, so it's gonna hurt while you're shooting. Uh, you can see the nicely, generously beveled magwell. That's the stainless version. And here we have a blued with their 25 lines per inch uh, pattern on the back. Really nice. That's new from Ed Brown. And then next up from Blade Tech, we have holsters now for the Palmer 80 compact frame. This is a Palmer 80 uh, frame I have right here. And this is the Eclipse holster. So it's it can be set up in this configuration. This is a 3D printed model, I should say. Uh, it can be set up in this configuration, which is outside the waistband. You can also swap it so you can carry inside the waistband. So you can now carry your Palmer 80 frame or complete pistol. That's new from Blade Tech. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.